In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take jQuery Mobile, one of the most popular mobile optimization frameworks on the internet, and customize the theme that comes with jQuery Mobile. So I'm going to start off by going to jQueryMobile.com's website and uh, here's the site and one of the things that we can actually go ahead is we can select the download button and download the latest elements of jQuery mobile um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use the CDN version of the code and what I have over here is I actually have Dreamweaver and one of the new features in Dreamweaver that I quite like is that I can do a live view of the code. So here I have, this is the CDN of jQuery Mobile. It's the very latest version. We have the jQuery Mobile CSS style sheet, the jQuery framework, and then the jQuery Mobile plugin that goes into jQuery itself. And jQuery has a lot of features that allows you to customize your um, design. So just to have a look, here's the basic theme that comes with jQuery Mobile. And uh, we can click and you can actually see some of the different options that are available. Very gray, flat theme design. Uh, I quite like it for testing things out, but it's not something you would want to roll out with a real solution. So let's go ahead and let's customize the actual design. Now, jQuery Mobile makes it really easy by using themes. And themes is actually using a product called Theme Roller. And here's Theme Roller for jQuery Mobile. You can go to themeroller.jQueryMobile.com. And in Theme Roller, we can actually create multiple different designs. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rolling. Because Adobe is working very closely with the JQM team, um, they've incorporated some features that Adobe has created. Like for instance, you have the Adobe Cooler Swatches, which I really like. So um, I can come in and um, let's go ahead and let's create uh, a swatch. So you'll notice that as I select on the different colors here, my colors come up on my palette here. So I can go ahead, I'm gonna have the orange and that dark red and that maroon and this almost black. Go ahead and use any of the default colors that are available. And now all I have to do to be able to go ahead and show what the uh, colors would look like in my new design is by click, hold, and dragging the color swatch onto the canvas. So I go ahead and I click and drag a color and we have the, that goes in, and let's drop that in, and we'll drop that there, and uh, nope, let's go back to, to that. Um, as you can see, you have a lot of fun by just changing the colors around. Do something like that looks a little bit better. Ooh, I don't win any prizes for color design. <laughs> so here we have our own custom swatch. I can go ahead and select the download button to actually download this swatch. I can also share um, this swatch that I've just created with uh, some friends if I want to. I'm just going to go ahead and download it. Now, the thing that's cool is that you can come in and create a name for your swatch. And in this case, I'm going to call it Sunset. And this is the information that you want to be able to pull over. So we want to go ahead and we're going to copy out this piece of code here. And then we'll select download zip. And it's going to download the zip file. And while it's doing the downloading of the zip file, I'm going to just kind of come over and I'm going to replace my default jQuery mobile code, my CDNs, and I'm just going to change it to my new ones. And we're going to make some changes here in a moment. So I'm just going to go into code view. Make it a little bit easier to see the code. And if I go over to my download folder, yep, here is my new custom theme. And all I need to do is I need to collect the themes folder. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I go over to the folder where I have my a jQuery mobile site. I just have to have it on my desktop and I'm going to paste those items in. 
And actually, what jQuery Mobile recommends you do is we go ahead and create a new folder, we call it CSS, and we drag the themes folder into the CSS site. And one of the things that you'll see is that the custom CSS has a new name called sunset.css. So I'm going to come over, I need to make a change to the CSS file here. And I'm going to change this to sunset. I hit save. I'm going to go into split view. I'm going to turn off the live and then I'm going to turn it back on again. And here you see our new sunset theme has been applied. And you can actually go through and you'll actually see that it has been applied consistently all the way through your application. And that's all you need to do for creating a single sunset theme. But what happens if you want to have multiple themes on your website? Now, you, you can go ahead and create multiple pages, but what if you have one application like I do here where I have multiple pages and I want to be able to click through each page and have a different theme? Well, I can actually go back to the theme roller site and you'll see that we actually have the ability to create multiple different swatches. Uh, we can actually create up to 26 different swatches. Um, I haven't done that. I've done a couple of times. I um, haven't need to, to go and create multiple swatches beyond that, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create some new swatches and Again, I'm going to use Adobe Cooler, and let's go for a random color. All right, oh yeah, let's go for that color, that color, that color, that one, that one. Ooh, very primary. So let's go in and drop these. Again, I'm not going to win any awards for how I put the colors on the screen. All right, so what we've done is we've created a brand new color theme. And what I can go ahead and do is I will go ahead and download my color theme. And it's still called Sunset. So all I need to do is download the zip file. Now download the zip file. Opens up the zip file in my download folder. I go into the themes. I copy over the two um, sunset.css files. I don't need to copy over the other files because they've already been um, copied into my uh, site location. So I'm going to go to my desktop where I have my site files, go into my themes folder, and I'm actually going to go ahead and paste in and replace the two different files I have there. Now, by default, when I come into my actual site, um, I'm not actually going to see a change to the theme. What I have to do now is I have to go ahead and um, actually go into my code and say, yes, I want to change the theme. And the way that you do that is that you go into one of your um, div elements and you select what the theme is going to be. And it's called data-theme equals and then the swatch number. Uh, sorry, the swatch ledger. In this case, it's going to be swatch B. And now if I go and click custom theme, you'll see that I have a custom theme on that swatch. I can actually go ahead and modify the whole page and I can create multiple different swatches um, that uh, I can use throughout my application. So there you have it. That's how you create custom themes inside of jQuery Mobile. Uh, you have to go ahead and use Theme Roller. You make a couple of minor changes to your jQuery Mobile code and you're up and running in no time at all. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below or send me an email. Thanks very much.